Hello, in this video, we will be going through the graphic organizer on the cell cycle. This graphic organizer will include not only the parts of interphase, the largest part of the cell cycle, but also a bit of an introduction to mitosis where the cell division actually occurs. The cell cycle is incredibly important. And something to make this relatable is comparing it to someone you know that has cancer. All of us, unfortunately, know someone or know someone who knows someone who has had cancer. Without the cell cycle, our cells would uncontrollably divide, which could cause a lot of issues in our body like cancer. Or those cells that are dividing are going to be multiplying through that division, causing many other problems if they aren't safe to divide. Most of the times, cells are not actually dividing though. Cells in our body serve certain roles. And before we can divide, cells have to go through a phase collectively called interphase to make sure that cell has the okay go to move on. The very first step in interphase, so each of these three sections, are included in interphase. The very first phase is called the G1 phase or the growth one phase. Before we can divide, we want that cell to grow because we want to make sure that cell has everything it needs in it before it splits itself. What happens in this phase? The cell grows. Organelles replicate. We want to make sure we have two mitochondria. We want to make sure we have two nuclei. We want to make sure we have two sets of DNA. So in the G1 phase, the cell grows. Organelles replicate. And also, cells are going to carry out their normal function. They're still going to do their jobs. At this point, once the G1 phase is over, it's going to go through this checkpoint. This checkpoint is really important. You're going to see that there are checkpoints throughout this process. And at this checkpoint, after the G1 phase occurs, it's going to make sure that the cell is suitable and make sure that cell's environment is suitable for cell life. Because if the environment is not appropriate, then the cell can't even survive. If it doesn't meet that checkpoint, it's not okay to move on, it's gonna go through something called apoptosis or that cell is going to die. If it does look like the environment is suitable for cell life, it's gonna move on to the next phase called the S phase. And in this phase, the cell has already grown. The organelles have already been replicated. It's still doing its job, but we need a very important part of the cell. We need DNA to replicate. So after the S phase, we've got a larger cell. We've got double the amount of organelles and we have double the amount of DNA. We're getting ready to divide. Notice that there's not a checkpoint here. It's going to move right in to the third part of interphase, which is called the G2 phase. In the G2 phase, the cell is going to continue to grow. And also, the cell makes final preparations to divide. We're gonna go through another checkpoint here. We've got double all the stuff we need to divide, but we need to make sure that DNA actually replicated because we didn't have a checkpoint between the S phase and the G2 phase. So we're gonna make sure DNA replication occurred. 
we're also going to screen for mutations. This is really important because if the cell mutates, then that means that it's not gonna carry out its specific job that we need it to do and it shouldn't divide. If it passes that checkpoint, it will move on to mitosis. If it does not pass that checkpoint, it will go through apoptosis. The next phase we're gonna go through is the M phase. We have spent the majority of the cell cycle in interphase, G1, S, and G2 phase. If the cell has passed all of those checkpoints, it finally gets to divide. That's called the M phase. There are several stages in the M phase. M phase is also, also stands for mitosis. And there are several stages which we're gonna get into more detail later, but the phases of mitosis are included with prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and last but not least, cytokinesis. After this stage, there is going to be another checkpoint. In cytokinesis, this is where the cells are actually going to split. But this last checkpoint before we release the cells is going to make sure that mitosis and cytokinesis were successful. If it was successful, then those divided cells are going to be able to go and just go through their normal cell processes within the cell. Before that cell can divide once again, it needs to go through interphase. If any of these checkpoints don't pass, that cell is going to die because we don't want those cells in our body not working the way they should. And that's the issue with cancer. Cells are uncontrollably dividing. We cannot stop them. And that's why we have different types of medications to combat that. If you guys have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Following this video, there will be a check quiz. Thank you.